Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, this was a mobile home that I went to earlier today and it was already like 91, 92 degrees. And um, the tenants didn't seem to know anything except that it's not cooling, except it was like 72 degrees in there. But we found multiple problems. Stay tuned, I'm gonna take you along with me. All right, that's on Celsius. How do I get this off of Celsius? Alright, I'm going to try to see if I can find a manual or something on this. This is... Alright, that's a little bit confusing for me, this um, Celsius. seeing ants. Oh. Look at that coal. Not so bad everywhere else. Feels nice and cold.
No water over here. There's the pecan tree here. Must not be the year for pecans though. They only produce, naturally only produce nuts every two years. But farmers put lye on the ground to make them produce every year. I hid kind of low suction, very cold. This is 410. Let's go in and take a look at that evaporator coil. What do you say we quote them you know, uh, pulling clean and hold on just a sec, we'll get better information. A pulling clean and clean this coal. I just pulled that filter out. Low sub cooling, low superheat. I don't really think it's low on refrigerant. Trying to hold that where y'all can see it. It's doing better without that filter in there. I think it's doing a lot better. But still, that thing needs to be pulled and cleaned, and of course, out here needs to be cleaned. That's why we have a low sub-cooling. I got high pressure. 
it would cool off a lot better if that foil were clean. Wait a minute, do I have water right here? I do, right there. I can go ahead and clean this coal and that'll help a little bit. All right, we got that cleaned out. Um, I think I disturbed some ants, but I got that cleaned out. Once it dries off, I might check pressure, superheat and self cooling again. There we go. I see it. It's RTH2300 Bravo 1012. You said you wanted to switch it over from Celsius to Fahrenheit? Yes, and um, I'm not familiar with these. I don't. I was having trouble pulling up a manual. All right, just give me a second. Okay, press and hold both of the arrow buttons up and down. Okay. And hold them both until the display changes. It has. Okay, you're looking for the number on the left to be 14. 14, okay. 14. All right, so. You want it to be zero is going to be Fahrenheit. All right, I think I got that. All right, I'll put it on zero. Oh, it just went to 15. How do I get out of this? That's what I'm looking. Um, when finished, press run to exit and save changes. All right, we are on Fahrenheit. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with today? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that keeps this customer from having to buy a new thermostat. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to be of service, Curtis. All right. Thank, uh, thank you for calling the video. Honey, you home. Have a great weekend. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. All right, guys. On that one, I did basically everything I could do at the time. The uh, self-cooling did did go up a little bit after I cleaned the coal, but I uh, gave them an estimate to come back and pull and clean that evaporator coil. I think it'll be fine without doing that, but to get it right where it's cooling like it's supposed to, hopefully they'll let me fully clean it. Guys, thanks for watching. We're on to the next. I'll catch you on the next one.